Are you going places or left behind because you don't have a travel companion? Listen to how you can travel more independently. Dr. Travel Best will bring you the best answers, tips and her mistakes so you can benefit. Welcome to Dr. Mary Travel Best's Independent Travel Guide, a special episode for women like you who need a little extra support traveling the world one woman at a time. And today's special episode is the seven best travel books list for women travelers. In this episode, the FAQ is about airplane travel and how to stay protected. Part two, the best travel books for women is the feature and the mistake is an empty toll booth that cost a bundle. And finally, Dr. Mary Travel Best's quick tips on keeping track of your travels. So the FAQ part two, how can I prepare for an airplane flight so I am more protected and safe from the virus? Thanks, Emily, for asking that question. Here are a few more preparation guidelines for you starting with leaving your home and arriving at the airport. Avoid putting your hands on your face. Microbes, viruses, and other particles enter your body through the mouth, nose, and eyes. The second thing is to drink fluids as you normally would when you fly. You will get dehydrated on a flight. And Emily, when you get on the airplane, open your overhead air vent and adjust it towards your face. The continuous airflow creates a small push away from others' exhaust, which is the exhaled air from other passengers, and that vacuum will help you breathe cleaner air. The air on airplanes is clean with high efficiency filters, and so that airplane air could be cleaner than your typical office building. Another thing to do is limit your inboard movement. You can visit the airport restroom before you get on the flight, take out your backpack, and whatever you need, take that out before you sit down. You can also do in-seat exercises during the flight so you don't have to get up for stretching. And you can bring your own magazines and reading material, use your own tablet to see a movie, listen to music, read an ebook, or see an e-magazine. Now, last thing, when the plane lands, sit for a while and relax. Other passengers may get up and stand in the aisle, but this behavior is not welcome anymore. Don't get caught in the old habit of standing up in a crowd. Sit until your turn arrives, and that way you won't need to potentially get close to a potential carrier of infection. Today's special episode, let's get into the real meat of this. There's seven best travel books list for women travelers. Number one is Women Into the Unknown. I picked this up at my local library. It's a source book on women explorers and travelers by Marion Tingling. It's a series of 42 short stories about exploration and challenges in travel, solo or with another person, written by female explorers by a female. And these are from the 19th and 20th centuries, which is excellent for history buffs. Number two, 1,000 Places to Visit Before You Die by Patricia Schultz. Patricia is another New Yorker, just like me. Her books focus on destinations, a lot of them. It's more of a wish list, and I do recommend it. Patricia's book would be perhaps a suggested next read to follow up on Dr. Travelbest's advice. Patricia and Dr. Travelbest have met in person and discussed ideas on travel. And so number three, as I mentioned, the world's first guide to independent travel by Dr. Mary Travelbest, that's me. It's a general guide to independent travel for young budget conscious travelers looking for world trips without a tour guide. This book's second edition is in the works, so stay tuned. Number four, The Solo Travel Handbook by Lonely Planet. This guide has a lot of tips, but no stories. It's written like a magazine, not really a book, and it's written for any age and destination. It's not focused on active seniors, more for young teens and 20s, but it's a good book. Another one is Kicking Ass on the Road. The Ultimate Guide for the Solo Woman Traveler. Travel cheap, travel safe, and have the ultimate time of your life by Sunny Dawson. It's for the single woman, possibly divorced, who wants to have the time of their life. Travel adventure. Included is info on romance and insurance too. Number six on the list, Time to Take Flight. The Savvy Women's Guide to Safe Solo Travel by Jane Seagrave. 
this Canadian author's view of travel is like the Dr. Travel Best Guide with tips and then locations to visit. And number seven, the Solo Traveler's Handbook, second edition by Janice Leaf Waugh. The focus here is on planning, resources, safety, and stories. It's also written by a Canadian woman after her husband died. So thanks for that list of seven. And now let's move on to today's mistake. The unmanned toll booth in New York cost a bundle. So I had a rental car. I was driving from New York City through upstate, and I went through an unmanned toll booth in Westchester County. There was no notice on how to pay. There was no way to pay. And about two months later, I got a bill for $35 for that toll. I learned my lesson and hope you don't have to go through this as well. I'll never forget that day as I was heading to Boston planning to go to the finish line and watch the Boston Marathon. That was the same day of the terrible bombing where so many were hurt. My plans were delayed and I was downtown Boston, which was eerie and frightening still hours later. That's a story for another episode. Let's finish with today's travel advice. Don't track your list of countries by number, but by experience. The best travelers are the ones who track their outcomes in experience and adventure. How many smiles, new friends, learned ideas, flowers smelled, etc. Keeping track of the places you visited is not going to make you a better traveler. You don't need to check off a destination or a country. Just see the world you want to visit. You don't need to keep a running list. Just a list of great experiences. That is more meaningful in the long run. I want to bring meaning to your travel. So send me your travel tip or question and send it to my Facebook page, group, Instagram, Twitter, or blog. And maybe you'll see your tips and my next travel book on independent destinations. What's on your bucket list? What's on your travel bucket list? Tell the doctor and her team of women who travel the world seeking the very best. Dr. Travel Best, that is. 